Hey everyone, I'm Joel Green and welcome to Curiosity Quest Goes Green, the show that explores what you, the viewer, are curious about. Now today, our quest letter came to us from Rancho Cucamonga, California. Ryan wrote, Dear Joel, at our school, we recently started saving our school lunch trays. And so I was wondering, can you go to a school that's really green and then go to a school that's not really green to compare the two to show the school that's not really green how to be more green and recycle? Well, Ryan, I love the way you're thinking. Just so you know, not every school out there has to deal with their school lunch trays, but a lot of schools do. More specifically, they have to deal with foam lunch trays. And on our show, we try to focus on the positive. So because of you, we are at an elementary school in Stockton, California, where they've been nationally recognized for their foam lunch tray recycling program. So let's get started on today's Curiosity Quest Goes Green. Let's go. We've made our way up here to Westwood Elementary School in Stockton, California, where I'm here with the teacher, Laura Rodriguez, who put this whole program together for her school. Now, Laura, first of all, how long have you been a teacher and what grade do you teach? I've been a teacher for 20 years, a little over, and I teach fourth grade. How did this all start? I mean, you're putting together a program where you're recycling uh, trays at your school. Well, actually, I just noticed that we were throwing away cases of polystyrene lunch trays every day and it bugged me so I went on the internet search and I didn't find very much but luckily one day on a drive I saw a sign that said recycle polystyrene here so I brought him a lunch tray and said is this what you guys are talking about will you recycle these for us and Dart said yes and so then I asked the kids if they want to be good to the earth by cleaning their trays, and if they did, I would bring them over to the recycling center. So that's how it started. They said, yeah, we want to clean them. <laughs> when we were doing a little research on you, you kept popping up of other spots over the country because people were blogging about your yeah. school and writing your school. I know, people call me and they're all excited <laughs> and they say, it's so nice to talk to you. And I said, it's nice to talk to you too, but I didn't know that I was like gonna be an expert on this. The kids are the experts because they're the ones that figured out how to clean their trays. Just like a teacher, I just deflecting, had an idea. deflecting. <laughs> it's all about the children, which is great, which is awesome, but just like a teacher, I love it. You've been doing this now for about three years. Yeah, so it we have It becomes automatic, huh, for the students? Yeah, yeah. In fact, they didn't even know that they were leading the way. Mm -hmm. If they in first grade said, I want to be good to the earth, they didn't realize that they were on TV stations and they didn't realize that they were in newspapers and people would show up and they, they thought it was cool, but they didn't realize that they were becoming examples. And at a certain point we realized that we were leaders. Then there was that whole different level of responsibility, not just to teach the kids, not just to help the earth, but to help the practice grow. Have you tried other, you know, lunch trays besides the polystyrene trays that you're currently using? We piloted or tried some cardboard trays, but the kids, they found out they had a really hard time cleaning it because it's porous and it sucks in the greases and the juices and it gets stained and therefore it can't be recycled. But the polystyrene is non-porous, it's very smooth and it just, everything just wipes or falls right off. Is there a cost saving in doing this type of program at your school? Yeah, there is a cost savings. We were able within a few weeks to be able to not need our fifth trash pickup within any week. So we just canceled 20% of our trash bill and our trash pickups. And yeah, that does pay off for the district, especially now that they're doing it at all the elementary schools. So this little tiny program that you implemented years ago is now yeah. duplicated in all the schools out here? All the elementary schools at this point, and as the kids grow older, they'll just bring it up to the upper levels. And of course, a couple really motivated eco clubs at high schools don't want to wait, so yeah, they're going to start right away. So take me back to that day you're driving down again, I'm driving <laughs> down, and did you ever envision that it would get to this. I wasn't thinking of that. I just wanted to do what was right. <laughs> All right, so let's go inside and see <laughs> okay. how this whole thing works. How do you recycle lunch trays? You know, that's a pretty interesting question, but I would say that they probably have some kind of a madness to the means as far as rotating them throughout the whole school, making sure that they keep some kind of a stock, healthy, sanitized, things like that. We put them in a trash bag and they clean them out. Um, usually you have, there should be a recycle, like a recyclable trash can or maybe there's um, another section where you could put them out. If not, then they usually just probably chuck them in the trash. Clean them off and then reuse them? You just put them in the recycling. 
So Mrs. Rodriguez, we have a four-step process to this whole recycling trays here at Westwood Elementary. Yes. So let's course. take people through the four steps. Okay. Step one, decision process. What condiments do I want? Where am I going to put them? How am I going to go about eating my lunch today? Decisions. And that plays a big role in this whole recycling process. It actually makes it easier if you make good decisions. Step two. Step two, dismissal process. Dismissal. Ooh, so we can get out the recess. Absolutely. Yes. That's the main goal of the kids. Now how get do out we, there fast. How do we dismiss? You show the principal you're ready by lifting up your, not just your hand, hey, I'm ready, mm -hmm. but your spork and napkin, because those are your cleaning tools. Step three. Step three is the wipe and swipe, the cleaning. The, the cleaning. Yeah, and then they just have to decide how clean it was. If for some reason they were unable to keep it clean, there's a place for that. Okay. If it's nice and clean, there's definitely a place for that. And depending on how advanced your decision making was before. Ooh, this goes back to step one, uh-huh. Your exit is really smooth. Ooh, out to recess. Yeah. All right. And then, well, then what's step four? Four, you know, we're out to recess. Oh, well, step four, that's when the custodian puts all of the clean ones back into the box they originally came from. Clean trays in the box. Just so you know, I'm going to go through this process. Oh. I, I, you didn't know that, did you? You're going to eat with us? I'm going to eat with you, and I'm going okay. to see how easy this process is, because I don't know. Oh, I'm thinking, you know. That's nice. That, like eight steps or something like that. What is your favorite thing to eat at lunch? Um, pretzel. Pizza. The nachos. Pizza. Salads. I like their burritos. <laughs> Pizza. Lots of water. Lots of water. Keep those kidneys healthy. So, as I said earlier, I just can't seem to get away from school, so I'm gonna experience what the, the school lunch is like. Jonathan, what should I be doing here? Well, since you have salad, you would want to put ranch or Thousand Island sauce, and it's your choice. Well, what do you recommend? I mean, what, what do you think? I'm going with Thousand Island. <laughs> okay, he said, he said go with the Thousand Island. So I'm going to go with the Thousand Island on my, on my salad right here. Thousand Island right there. Very good. And then what else? Well, for ketchups, you can either get ranch or ketchup, but I would just get ketchup because that's just, like, original and keeping it. <laughs> Jonathan's keeping me OG. I like it. All right. All right, so now what do I just put it on my uh, my fries like that? Yep. Okay. Now some of the students were suggesting I put it on wrappers and on, on napkins and stuff like that. If you have a cheeseburger and you, you take off the wrapper, and if you have french fries, you put the french fries on the wrapper and then you put ketchup. If you have a burrito, you, instead of opening it and putting the burrito on your tray, you could take you could put it on the wrappers. So Tyler, I scoop it to get raw that I can out of. That's like one of the cleanest trays I've ever seen, man. Thank you. <laughs> Make room at the table. The newbie's here. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So what's the favorite of all the sixth graders here at the table uh, for food-wise? Mm, I'll say french fries. Yeah. French fries and the oranges. French fries and the oranges? Yep. <laughs> you can taste the citrus coming in. <laughs> I did taste the citrus coming in as I'm here in the Central Valley of California, which is where this is probably from, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else you want to add to that? Freshly shipped. <laughs> the, those oranges were probably shipped last night and put in the refrigerator cold and nice just for you. <laughs> Man, I think I'm losing my job here. <laughs> I think it's happening. Here's your fun fact. Did you know our school district keeps about four million trays out of the landfill? Four million. That is a lot. Four million. Robin, what grade are you in? Fourth. Fourth grade. How much work does it take to do this cleaning tray recycling program that you guys have here? Not very long because all you have to do, like, um, just clean your tray and try to be, like, clean so you can um, recycle it. Do you enjoy it? Yeah. 
You do? Why? You get to help the Earth from, from global warming. So James, what grade are you in? Six. Sixth grade, huh? And how long have you been doing this program? Uh, about basically my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Your whole life, huh? Basically. Is there a challenge to, to teaching students that aren't on the leadership team? Well, sometimes it is because some students don't listen because, you know, some people don't like recycling, but recycling is good for the economy and stuff, so I as well help out. I'm here with Deanna, who is a fourth grader at Westwood Elementary. Now, I'm trying to understand this. As a member of the green team, right, do you have, like, um, like citations you give people if they don't do it right? Uh, no. <laughs> do you penalize people or, you know? No, we make them come back, and um, I always have extra napkins on the side. So I say, can you come please clean your tray? And then if they need more napkins, I'll keep on giving them so they can clean their tray so we can help say, go green. Oh, OK. So it's, a, it's more of a reward system than anything, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you do like the, the happy day? I saw you dancing a minute ago. You were, in fact, you, give, me that, give me that shimmy dance we were doing. Look at that. Look at that. You do a dance when they do it right or give them a high five or anything? I say thank you for cleaning your tray. <laughs> well, you say it with a little bit more enthusiasm than that, right? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Give it to us right there on the camera. Look at the camera. Go ahead and say thank you for giving. Thank you for cleaning your tray. I'm here with Eric, an OG member of the original recycling team here at Westwood Elementary, right? I don't think your teacher's listening, but come on, between you and I, did she put you guys up to doing this? She was on the microphone. She said, how would it feel if we could just recycle our trays? And everybody just said, just started screaming, yes, yes, <laughs> we, we all want to. This is a great idea. Alexis, how what grade are you in? I'm in fifth grade. Now, when you first heard about this program, what were you thinking? Were you thinking like, oh man, I'm not going to get out to the playground fast enough now? I mean, what was your response? I just thought it was amazing because not we, not only we're helping the environment, but we're helping ourselves too. Why do you say that? How you're helping yourself by? If we throw them in the garbage, it'll make more pollution and then that could affect us. Has this program made you recycle at home or were you already recycling at home? I was already recycling at home. <laughs> Classes and teachers out there, look at this cafeteria. Look, look, look at how clean it is because of this program that they've implemented. I mean, you just look around. You guys know. You've been to schools, so you can see how clean and or dirty your cafeteria is after lunch. Three lunches have already been through here, and Ramon has not picked up the broom, I don't think. Uh, maybe he has, but I haven't seen him pick up a broom while they've been here. That's pretty impressive, and, and I'm sure it has a lot to do with the program they've already implemented. What happens to used lunch trays? Usually they'll try and recycle or reuse them, but I think they get thrown in the trash. <laughs> Our lunch trays get made into cardboard holders for um, sodas. They, re they, they recycle? Um, in my school, I believe they just get thrown away. They don't even get recycled. I would say they probably get recycled and put in through the burner all over again. That's what I would think.